on the Rideau. So it was, it's been a challenging year. We had a very cold season, uh, so it was, it was difficult to start working to begin with. So uh, again, measure first. Then once we do measure, we start the process of clearing the snow off because we have to get to the ice. So we have to clear the snow off, and then we begin cutting our keys, is what we call it. So. We cut these keys, and you saw the one picture up at Rideau Falls there. We cut these keys uh, around uh, bridges, anywhere where there's uh, underwater uh, infrastructure, there's hydro lines, fiber optic lines, gas sewers, all that is under there. So we can't physically blast in those areas, so we have to cut keys so we can get the ice out. Uh, this is a very time consuming and uh, manual labor process. We do have a, a large ice saw, but it only cuts a certain depth, and the rest has to be cut by hand. So we have a crew of 18 people that go out, and this is what they do from February, and they're still out working on it now. So it's <laughs> it's a long process, yeah. So but once we do get the keys cut and we have favorable conditions, we start blasting. This year we started blasting the ice uh, around March 9th, around there on the weekend, and it usually is a very large media event. People like to come out and <laughs> see us blow up the ice, so <laughs> it's pretty fun too, I will say. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, yeah. So, <laughs> we did that today, and uh, not today, but we did do that, and again, it comes down to the flow rate. So we were having issues when we last was actually physically removing the ice using the water over the dam. So flows have been very low this year, so it's a very slow process. So we have to be very aware of what we blast and how long it takes the ice to flush, as David had talked about there. Um, the other issue we have when we start flushing ice is at the bottom of Rideau Falls. The ice builds up, and we have to be very careful. We can't let too much build up there before it gets away, or there's risk uh, to some damaging some critical infrastructure down there also. So it's a long process. Now, we continue blasting until we get to the Minto Bridge. Once we pass the Minto Bridge, we bring in what we call our amphibious excavator which actually is a boat that goes out on the ice and breaks the ice. Uh, and again, this is in conjunction with our staff out on the water, um, monitoring water flow, monitoring flushing of the ice, so we have to time it properly so we have enough water to get the ice we break out of there. So it, it, it's, again, it's, I can't say it enough, it's been a challenge this year trying to get it out. With the low water flows, what we end up doing is we actually have staff out in boats that have to push, because the water's so low, we have to push the ice down to get it flushing. Once we get it moving, it's usually pretty good, but uh, it, it has been difficult this year. And right now we're in the Porter Island coming up to St. Patrick's Street Bridge there now. So we're a little behind schedule, um, but it's been challenging with the thickness of the ice. I know on St. Patrick, that's where we're getting into about 36, uh, 34 to 36 inches of ice. Wow. There. So it's, it slows us down there. Um, so yeah, and the whole reason we do this is to allow the ice to get out and not dam up at the end. So as soon as we have ice dams, we start having the water back up and that's where we get into the flooding situations. Mm -hmm. So we try and clear as much ice out as we can, basically all the way back up the Rideau to the Billings Bridge, and then that allows for free flow of uh, water through there without having any ice dams. So it's, it's an interesting program. It's been around a long time and it's not known by a lot of people out there that we do this, but we have been doing it for a very long time. Uh, the guys worked very hard out there, and this winter was brutal. They were a lot of the days with about minus 45 wind chill down. And once you're on the river there, it's a lot cooler than it is when you're up off of the river. So um, I, I just wanted to say thank you again for coming tonight and listening to us. And we're here for questions if you have anything after too. Thank you. Thank you.